do both of the do both of your sons have the same father? Did no. You guys? no, 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 no. Um, they, my oldest did not start having a relationship with his biological father until he was six. Okay. Um, my youngest, his biological father dipped out of his life two weeks before, or uh, two days before his second birthday, and he hasn't come back since. Um, they have a dad, but it's not either. Not, no, because dad, a lot of people misconstrue that word, because, mm -hmm. like, I didn't have a dad. My dad was taken from me at three, you know, mm -hmm. he was, uh, rest in peace, Alberto, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I didn't have that male role model growing up, you know what I mean? It's good that somebody had stepped up to the plate. I'm very fortunate. Um, I used to actually, you know, during the single motherhood, I would get angry when people would be like, someday you're gonna meet a man that loves you and loves your children even more. And I'm like, you know, that's a great thought. That is a wonderful fairy tale. But that is not guaranteed to me in life. I can't rely on that. So I have to make it work by myself. I have to do what I gotta do to be the sole parent. And if that happens, wonderful. But I can't rely on a fairy tale. What type of challenges did you endure when you were pregnant? Oh my, um, for starters, with both kids, I was on birth control and my birth control failed. Um, <laughs> so you, you didn't want to, you didn't want to have babies? Um, I, I, well, I was young. I was 22 when I got okay. pregnant with my youngest and, you know, I, plenty of parents have had kids that young and younger and have done just fine. But I did not have the maturity to be a mom and I knew that and I didn't know what I wanted out of life. I didn't know what career to go for, any of that. I was having fun. I was bartending and going out with friends and doing my own thing and living my life. And then suddenly I find out I'm having a baby and uh, that my birth control had failed. And I went, okay, well, I do want kids. And my naive brain went, okay, I can do this. I don't care what anyone else says. And if the circumstances are bad, but what if I never have another opportunity to have kids? That's the one thing I knew I wanted out of life. I just didn't necessarily want it under unplanned circumstances. Right. Um, but were you in a relationship at the time, or was it just somebody that you were hooking up with? Um, I was not in a relationship. It. Cause that's how my. That's how my. Uh... That's how, my, that's how my son was born. It wasn't planned, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, just... the whole thing, um, it's its really a difficult story to get into. Uh, his biological father was one of my favorite people in the world, one of my best friends, and the whole situation was questionable at best. And then I found out I was pregnant and it took me three weeks to track him down. And when I did track him down, he's like, you know I'm gonna be there. You know I'm, be there. Oh, I'm not gonna so let my son grow up without me. Da 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 da. Yes, Didn't hear from him again until, um, let's see, how old was my son? We, we were in court the next time I talked to him. Okay. Um, he got another girl pregnant two months after me and basically did the same thing to her. And um, she and I, throughout our pregnancies, spoke and decided we're gonna raise our babies together. They're brothers. The circumstances suck, but we have to make this work right. because I grew up without a sibling. I don't want my child to grow up without one. Well, unfortunately, three weeks after her baby was born, he passed away. And- Who passed away? Her son, oh, her baby. Man and my son's brother. And I just, I, I, I broke down. Um, and you were in Austin at this time? Or you were no, in East Texas? no, I, I came back to East Texas. Uh, I knew I couldn't raise him alone. And um, so did I- Did you have any type of support or did you have to wing it alone for a little while? My parents were very helpful. That's, uh, God they, bless them, man. That's They good. gave me a stable place to live and you know assistance with the baby and so on and so forth. Um, I, I had some friends that were very supportive and then I had this other girl that was a mom, you know, to my son's brother, two months apart. And that was another source of support because we knew what each other were going through. Right. So when it she lost her baby, when she lost right. her baby, it just destroyed me. 
absolutely destroyed. You know, I can imagine because I've lost, I've lost a kid or you know more than one, but so I, I know how that pain is. Yeah. 